Fourier series. Now, given that certain conditions are satisfied, then it is possible to write a periodic function of period 2 pi as a series of expansion of the orthogonal periodic function just discussed. And that is, f of x is defined on the interval negative pi to pi inclusive, where we have our f of x plus 2n pi giving us f of x. Then, this function giving us the whole of this where are a n and b n as constants called the Fourier constants. The above series is called the Fourier series expansion of f of x. So we make use of the mutual orthogonality of the trigonometric functions in the expansion to find the Fourier coefficients. And so to find our a subscript n and b subscript n, we have our a subscript n being equal to this expression, and B subscript n giving us this expression where n runs from 0, 1, 2, and so on. Now, for instance, our A subscript 0 giving us this, then A subscript 10 will also take us here and so on. Where f of x is giving us f of x, A subscript 0 on 2 plus summation n running from 1 to infinity, A subscript n cos nx plus b subscript n sine n x brackets open and close. Now the Dirichlet condition, you see if a function f of x is such that first condition f of x is defined single valued and periodic with period 2 pi and b f of x and then f prime of x have at most a finite number of finite discontinuities over a single period that is they are piecewise continuous then the series given by this where A subscript N gives us this and then B subscript N gives us that actually converges to f of x when our point x f of x is a point of continuity. And these are some exercises you can go through that later. We'll come to that and these are the answers to that. Now I want to look at the first example. I want to look at this figure and find the Fourier series for the function shown. I want to consider the cycle between x being equal to negative pi and then x being equal to pi, given by the function defined by f of x, given us where we have our zero in this interval, four within that interval, and then x, our zero within that interval. Yeah, so for f of x, giving us this expression, our a subscript zero will give us that within the limits, as we can see from the diagram. So now for our a subscript 0, we have our a subscript 0 giving us 1 on pi brackets open. We remember that within this interval we have 0, within that interval we have 4, within this interval we have 0. So when we compute, we get the same we integrate to give us that within the limit. When we compute the upper limit and the lower limit, we get this 2 and 4 over here. We divide and then that takes us to this point. So we get this and finally it gives us 4. So our a subscript 0 will give us 4. Then we also look for our a subscript n. And for us to do that, we actually resort to this. And we go back to the figure. So we now write down with our upper limits and lower limits. Then we reduce that to this form. We integrate. Integrate cos. We get sine. And then... Remember that basically that takes us to this and then we actually come here and do our division. So basically we get our a, 8 on pi n sine n pi on 2 and that takes us there. So our a subscript n gives us this. Now we want to consider the different integer values of our n. Uh, if n is even then a subscript n gives us 0. But if n is odd, the first part we use 1, 5, 9, and then we get our a subscript n giving us this. If we consider another aspect of the odd values 3, 7, and 11, that also takes us to negative 8 and pi. So we keep this in mind while we solve for b subscript n, where we use this expression to solve that. Now going back to the figure, we put this down within the various intervals. And then our B subscript N gives us this, we integrate, and then 
by still simplifying, we get this. We integrate our sign and get negative cos n divided by n. We put in the limits, and that takes us to zero. So b subscript n is zero. Now, so therefore, with the values obtained, we have this giving us that. We have that giving us this, and then b subscript n giving us zero. So the Fourier series becomes what we have over here, and you could see that we don't have any term in sign because our b subscript n is zero. So we may try this one and submit it. Thank you.